Hi, welcome back. In today's video, which is also the final one in this series, I'm going to talk about one of the most compelling reasons for using RenderWorks. That's its seamless integration into Vectorworks. So what we have is a first-class rendering application powered by Cinema 4D, integrated into a first-class BIM and design package. That's a pretty powerful combination. My first example shows a Vectorworks digital terrain model which was generated by importing survey data and applying site modifiers which you can see as red and blue polygons. Thanks to Christian Briggs for the file. We have a proposed site plan which is probably imported using DWG. Let's say we wanted the white polygon to be rendered as a tarmac or paved area on top of the terrain model. For obvious reasons we cannot use a flat surface here so how can we achieve a change of texture while at the same time following the terrain's contours. There's actually a very elegant way to do this. Right click the contour and choose create objects from shapes. Make sure you've chosen texture bed from the pop-up menu in the dialog that follows and click OK. Change the newly created texture bed to the active layer and update your site model. Done. Now we have a surface with a different renderworks texture following the terrain. This project is set up to reference the site model and the two building models into a fourth Vectorworks file that is used to generate drawings. The original file was also set up for project sharing, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So here we have the site model, and in the reference tab of the navigation palette we can see the three reference files. Let's zoom out a little bit and bring in the buildings. Notice how everything's been set up to use Renderworks textures. The walls use one of the built-in brick shaders to match the colour of local brick types. It creates a repeat pattern without a visible tiling effect. So in all respects this is a normal architectural project file of a project that is in its planning stage at the time of creating this video with floor plans and some beautiful coloured elevations. These are orthogonal views but rendered with renderworks right in the sheet layer from where they're printed off. Anything changes in the model you just update the viewport. This is a very efficient workflow. Last but not least, you can create your own perspectives from your projects. If you've watched my last video, you'll recognize that ivy growing up the tree in the foreground. My next example is a file from the shop fitting project. Thanks to Swarovski for permission to use this project. At Swarovski, retail architecture projects are executed with Vectorworks Interior CAD, and this is but one of hundreds of projects. Each project is set up in 3D with a large library of symbols, all linked to record formats for tracking different kinds of project data and of course with Renderworks textures applied for visualizations. Swarovski's workflow has been perfected to churn out rendered perspectives of every project that's reached proposal state. Vectorworks strong OpenGL rendering is actually used while each project is in the planning phase to get interactive previews of the proposed store layout. Different types of layouts with installation plans, ceiling plans and also electrical plans are done and finished once the cabinet symbols have been placed in the drawing. Using the onboard record formats and worksheets, energy consumption charts based on accumulated wattage values are generated on the fly. Each light fitting is set up to use manufacturer's IES files, so once lights are placed in the designated locations, an accurate lighting scenario can be rendered. Each perspective is set up quickly using RenderWorks cameras and most perspectives can be rendered without any adjustments necessary using a RenderWorks style. Perspectives are rendered immediately following the planning phase. This is the tool of choice when quick decision making is of the essence. Late changes can be made in the model and viewports updated for immediate proposal. The cutouts in the ceiling are generated automatically by interior cut, so lights can float freely in the ceiling just like windows float in walls. This means that no boolean operation is necessary after light positions have been changed or light types are swapped during planning phase. Round openings are interior cut drillings. The drilling object uses a transparent renderworks texture so the drilling can be selected and edited but doesn't show in the model. This allows for quick duplication, mirroring and rotation of whole arrays of milling objects, all in OpenGL. Another strong feature of RenderWorks total integration into Vectorworks are surface hatches. At Swarovski each drawing specification can be met without requiring any extra work since surface hatches are part of RenderWorks textures. So in elevations all glass and mirrored surfaces are hatched without applying the hatches for each surface separately. This is a great time saver, especially when working on a tight schedule. 
Surface hatches are also used to define the tiling patterns for the floor plans. So once the texture's been defined and aligned with the floor slabs, the tiling plans are done too. Those parts of the viewport that use a visual are cut out with a clip tool to be rendered in OpenGL, whilst the surrounding portions of the viewport are rendered in hidden line. In this way, line drawings and bitmaps can be elegantly combined in the same sheet layer viewport. That's it for today. In fact, that's it for all of these videos. I hope you've had as much fun watching as I've had making these. Happy rendering, everyone.